Don't be afraid to tell me if you ain't with it I see your focus, yeah, you're so independent It's hard for me to open up, I'll admit it You got some shit to say and I'm here to listen So baby, tell me where you're low life Waste a day and spend the night up welcome to glamorous Marana channel if you're new here welcome to my channel hope you click that subscribe button if you're not new and you're already a subscriber thank you so much for tuning back to my video so today today we're gonna be talking about how to repair damaged hair now if your hair been damaged it's damaged now how can you repair your hair and I am the right person because my hair was damaged and I um like I went through it and I know what to do so I'm gonna be giving you some tips hope you guys enjoy this video now when my hair was damaged did I do the big chop <laughs> no I didn't I just couldn't do the big chop because a lot of people when their hair damaged they take that scissors and they chop 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 I just didn't have the heart to do that I just I just couldn't walk with my hair bald I just can't I couldn't so I had to decide to do something else with my hair. So I was a person who um, was relaxed, like relaxed. So I take a break with a relaxer for like a whole year. And I made sure I braid my hair with extensions such as weave and braid. I made sure I condition my hair. I, I made sure I got a good treatment that can go well with my hair. So I didn't have to do the big chop, okay? So yeah, so if your hair is damaged and you don't want to do the big chop, right? These are the way to go. If you if you are a person who likes to relax your hair, stop for a, like a year. Start relaxing your hair for a year and you can pick up again. That's what I did and by treatments i um use the afro g treatments i use the do grow treatments and i braid my hair i braid my hair either with drumbo braids protective style braids i make sure i add extensions to my hair to protect my hair that way my hair can grow and get length i didn't do the big chop but i did cut the ends of my hair i did cut the ends of my hair i made sure i look for all the split ends in my hair and i cut it off so i didn't really do the big chop but i just cut the ends of my hair so that what i did and i made sure I shampoo my hair make sure I grease my hair make sure I get some oils in my hair every single night i would tie my hair even though it's hot 90 degrees in my room or what's not or it's just hot what's not i made sure tie my hair with a scarf every single night and take a lot of vitamins drink water change the way you eat dieting sometimes you don't really have to change the way you eat because i didn't really change the way i eat but i made sure I put in some vitamins in my um daily routine and that's really what um helped to repair my damaged hair so yeah so that's all you need is to get a lot of protein in your hair um get some vitamins in your hair braid your hair use protected hairstyles in your hair weave in your hair do not fool with your hair a lot and avoid putting heat in your hair and that's basically what i did to um, repair my damaged hair. I didn't have to do the big chop. The only chop I did was clip the ends a little bit and then I just braid it and keep on braiding it, leave it for like three months in my hair, then I loose it, braid it back, put weave and all kind of stuff. I like didn't really fool around with my, my real hair. And yeah, that's all I did to repair my hair. And that's like the simple, honest, shrewd how I repaired and grow my damage here i didn't have to do like a big ball chop that's all i did so i hope these tips help you because there was like quick and easy tips it wasn't like dramatic that you gotta oh my god you wanna if your hair is damaged do the big chop do the big chop no you don't have to do the big chop if you don't want to if you want to do the big chop go ahead and do it if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it even when you're transitioning to natural hair 
and you don't really want to do the big chop you just let your natural hair just grow out trust me if you don't put a relaxer for a good month your hair is going to grow natural so you don't really have to be the, doing the big chop and all kind of stuff so as you go into the natural state you just let your hair get natural and braid it a lot put sewing a lot and then it'll get to that natural state so you don't really have to like relax it and stuff so i hope these tips help you guys and thank you so much for watching Glamis Miranda channel don't forget to click that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up if this video helped you guys I'll be, I'll be, I'll be.